Welcome to this new video, the Matrix Game of Life and the Virtual Reality Headset Decoded. Are they controlling us with a Virtual Reality Headset? Well, this is what we're going to see in this video. The Matrix Game of Life is 197 in English Ordinal, matching Helmet of Salvation. And this video is about the link between the Matrix Game of Life and this Helmet of Salvation, which I believe is what we call nowadays a virtual reality headset that they use to control us. Then we have energy harvesting, and this is the goal of this matrix. This matrix was created to harvest our energies, our memories, and our emotions. Orange mind control, this refers to the orange wave that is sent by a satellite to control us. Then we have choices on illusion, and in this matrix we are always given the, the illusion of choice in politics, in religion, in education, and basically in everything. So people never question the system, they just go with it because they think they are free and they can choose between different options, but they don't see that the controllers are the ones offering those options. And then we have the creator of this 3D. So this is the Demiurge that created this Matrix game of life. The Matrix video game is 67 in Chaldean, matching virtual reality headset. So in Chaldean, we have this virtual reality headset matching this Matrix video game. And in English ordinal, we had this helmet of salvation. Virtual Reality Headset is 255 in English Ordinal, matching Morpheus the God of Dreams and EEG Brainwaves technology, so with this headset they are manipulating our brains. In Chaldean we have 67 matching element Holmium, that is the most magnetic element of the periodic table. And we have the following expressions. The Matrix Video Game the God of Sleep. So here again the reference to the God of Sleep and we had Morpheus with the English original. Then we have Mischievous Pride and I've been showing in my former videos the nature of what is running this reality. Rapid Eye Movement. This is the REM phase of sleep. We live in a digital matrix. Computation Matrix. Dweller of the Abyss, the Beast of the Sea. So I've been mentioning the Beast of the Sea in my previous videos too. And uh, here we have Dweller of the Abyss. Of course, the Beast of the Sea dwells in the Abyss. Then we have the Great Distortion. And uh, the frequencies they are using are causing a distortion in our perception of reality. MK Ultra Mind Control, Deep Mind Control, a system of control. So this matrix is all about control. Of course, they do not want us to wake up. Then you have no choice. And in the former slide, we saw choice is an illusion. An artificial light source. So this is not the real light, this is the false light of Lucifer, this is an artificial light. Holmium has an atomic mass of 164, and we have the following expressions in Chaldean. The Grand Architect, Everlasting Life, The Killing Moon. So they are using the frequencies of the moon. Containment field, this is linked to the cyclotron and the way they have created this reality. Demonic entities, they are running this matrix. Numerical language, because it is a computation matrix. Low frequency, 
They are using those low frequencies to control us and put us in this state of trance. Shepherd's Crook, this is a reference to Osiris and the gold harvest. They are harvesting our energies. And uh, I sh I've been showing this gold harvest in my last video, God of Sleep number 4, about Vishnu. 164 appears at the 68th digit of Pi, and we have the following expressions in Chaldean. Illusion of choice. So this is the third time that we have that choice is an illusion. Number of the beast. Artificial intelligence. The path of Saturn. And down the rabbit hole. I decided to include this slide because there is no spoon matches virtual reality headset in Chaldean. So with 67, remember we had the Matrix video game, the God of Sleep, mischievous sprite, rapid eye movement, we live in a digital matrix, computation matrix, we had the reference to MK Ultra mind control and the deep mind control. So 67 is the 19th prime number. And with 19, we have the word dreams. This is reference to the god of sleep. Then we have master, reset, womb, and death. So the womb is the matrix. And death is what happens to our bodies. Uh, it happens to us when we incarnate in this matrix. Now, Saying that there is no spoon implies that it is not real. So when we write this is not real, we have 169 in English ordinal. And this corresponds to pi because p is 16 and i is 9. With 169 in English ordinal, we have Morpheus is God. This is what I've been showing in all my previous videos. Then we have the synchrotron. This is what creates this reality. The infinite circle, so this is pi, and this is why um, we had pi being 16 and 9, that is 169. Predestination, everything seems to be scripted. Saturn's moon, this is Titan. The moon's tunes, the moon tunes uh, refers to the frequencies sent by the moon and inverted world. And uh, we can see that in Alice in Wonderland when she fell through uh, down the rabbit hole. Wonderland is an inverted reality, is an inverted world. This is not real is 44 in Chaldean, matching the following expressions. The matrix game. So here again, we have this reference to this uh, matrix that apparently is not real. And we are hallucinating this reality. Then the dead twin, the green man, those two expressions mean the same and uh, they refer to what I call the green goblin that in the end is uh, the um, Osiris and the Wizard of Oz. Then we have the Demiurge that created this uh, fake reality. Synchrotron again, so this is very interesting that once again English Ordinal and Chaldean are showing us the same thing. In this case the Synchrotron. Then we have Mind Transfer. Apparently our mind is transferred into this reality. Under MK Ultra, so here again we have the MK Ultra reference. Orange waves. These waves are the waves sent by the satellite that we can see in the Ephraim symbol, and it is also a reference to Clockwork Orange. Then Saturn Moon. So those orange waves, I believe, are sent from Titan, Saturn's moon. The Time Lord, that is Cronus and Saturn. 
alien invasion. So it seems that something outside this reality is uh, invading us or manipulating us. Then death portal, resident evil. So this shows what is, what is running this matrix or what is inside this matrix is evil or not benevolent. And infinity eight, this is the infinite, uh, infinite time loop we are stuck in. And vicious circle, that refers to pi again. So if you see, once again, English original and Chaldean are giving us the same answer with the reference to pi. 44 is linked to the hummingbird medicine card and the hummingbird represents the Saturn woofer and this is what is emitting those uh, waves and this sound that is uh, like a humming and those uh, frequencies and this sound is a low pitch vibration. 44 appears at the 59th digit of pi and it matches element praseodymium. That means the green twin. So the green twin, of course, is the dead twin and the green man that we have here with 44. And this is the Wizard of Oz and the green goblin. And uh, that is the same as Osiris. So with number 59 matching element praseodymium, that means green twin, we have in Chaldean the game of life. God is a dream machine, the god of dream. So it always comes back to the god of dreams. Then the chief archon, Saturn moon titan. And uh, this is the third time I think that we have the reference to this moon. We are stuck in hell. We play a wicked game, Lord of the Rings, that is Saturn, of course, Portal of Death, Radio Frequencies, Moon Frequency, another reference to the frequencies sent by the moon, the Body Snatchers, the Fallen Angels, Generator of Data, Key of Solomon, and Who Created Life. So, Who Created Life? the god of dream, that is the chief archon. Then we have, in English original, the game. So we had the game of life in Chaldean, and here we have the game. Goblin, that is the green goblin, that is the green twin. Vesica, that refers to Vesica Pisces. Joker, the god of this reality, is a joker. The god... Shiva, that refers to destruction. Archon, we had the chief Archon, and here we have the confirmation with the word Archon. Grinch, that is another green character. And fairy, and we live in the fairy tale. This reality is not real, is 259 in English original, matching the following expressions. The architect of the matrix. Victim of the parasite mind. Interactive simulation. Confirming that we live in a simulation and under the control of a parasite that is probably using a virtual reality headset. In Chaldean we have 61 matching the following expressions. Are we living in a dream? Are we lucid dreaming? Who is the parasite? Are we in a simulation? Saturn Moon Matrix, The Gates of Hell, Ghost in the Shell, Condensed Matter, Sound Frequency, Trip Through Time, Over and Over Again, so this is a reference to reincarnation, Deep Space Code, Shepherd's Crook, this is a reference to Osiris, Book of the Dead, again a reference to Osiris, the zodiac wheel and the infinite circle that refers to Pi. We also have reincarnation curse and Osiris is Morpheus. So you see it's always about the god of sleep, 
of this uh, state of lucid dreaming in this matrix and always about Osiris, that is Morpheus, the god of sleep. 61 can be found at the first digit of the golden ratio, and this is linked to the magician in the tarot. So the magician is 33 in Chaldean, just like Emerald City, so this is again a reference to the land of Oz. We also have White Rabbit, and the devil. So I have already pointed out the evil nature of what is running this matrix. And in the medicine cards, the first card is the eagle, and the eagle represents the phoenix. With 61, we also had the scorpion king. And it is interesting to see that scorpion king is 47, matching the Tetragrammaton. Helmet of Salvation is 197 in English Ordinal, and at the beginning of this presentation we saw that it was a direct match to energy harvesting, orange mind control, choice is an illusion, and the creator of this 3D, also matching the Matrix Game of Life. And what is interesting here is that the Matrix Game of Life is 76 in Chaldean, matching element Osmium that represents the Wizard of Oz and the Land of Oz, and OS is also operating system. I put the picture of the character named Spartacus because it's interesting to see that these number, 118 and 31, are a direct match both in English Ordinal and Chaldean, to the Matrix. A hundred and ninety-seven is the forty-fifth prime number. And with forty-five in Chaldean, we have the following expressions. Game of life. So once again, this helmet is really linked to the Matrix Game of Life. This is not the first time in this presentation that we have numbers matching between the helmet and the Matrix Game of Life. Then we have under a spell. So maybe this helmet is used to put a spell on us. Then we have mind control. So definitely it is also not the first time we have this mind control related to this helmet. So Apparently, this is what is used to uh, remote control us. Then we have hell on earth, birth and rebirth. So this is linked to reincarnation. Then we have regeneration, same thing. Pandora's box, black hole sun, god of dream. So we always have this link between the helmet, the matrix, the Game of Life and the God of Dream. Then Electric Dreams, Dreams Factory, The Deceivers, there's also uh, this notion of um, being deceived. Then the Life Trap, so same thing, it's a, it's a trap. Then Moon Spell, and uh, so we had under a spell, now we have moon spell, and we had the card of the magician. So definitely there is a, a hypnotic spell on us. Then we have holographic, this is a holographic reality. We have psychopath, that is the nature of the Demiurge. Then we have what is the LHC, that is the Large Hadron Collider. Osiris the Sun, so always also this reference to Osiris, and uh, you know Osiris is the Wizard of Oz, then Soul Harvest, we also saw this notion before that this Helmet of Salvation is linked to energy harvesting, now we have Soul Harvest, we also have Possession, 
So probably through this helmet, the Demiurge or the parasites operating outside this reality are possessing our minds. Then prison bar cell. And uh, with 45, we saw that we had Osiris, the sun, and black hole sun. And we also have the black hole and the sun, the sun god Ra, that is Osiris. 197 starts at the decimal place 37. And with 37, we have false reality and the Sandman, that is the god of dream. Helmet of Salvation is 72 in Chaldean, matching the following expressions. Mind control program, so once again we have this reference to the mind control. The virtual simulation. Interactive simulation. So this is showing us the link between this helmet of salvation that is a virtual reality headset and the simulation. We live in a computer. Mischievous creature. So this is uh, once again showing the nature of the entity running this matrix. Osiris the Hidden One. The Hidden Sun at CERN. The Puppet Master. So this helmet is what enables whatever is running this matrix to control us, basically. Project Soul Catcher. And we know that uh, our souls are trapped here. Frequency Prison Grid. So it works as a, as a prison grid based on frequencies. The Soul Trap Machine. This is linked to Project Soul Catcher. The Belly of the Beast. Once again, we have the reference to the Belly of the Beast. The Project Blue Beam. This is a reference to the hologram and the holographic uh, reality. Plasma Confinement. Monarch Mind Control. Again, we have the Monarch Mind Control. MK Ultra Mind Control Program. Atlantean Technology. This shows that this is a very ancient technology that they are using. Radio Frequency Waves. This shows us uh, how it works. And Put the Soul in a Body. So this is basically what this device is doing. 72 appears at the 37th digit of the golden ratio. And uh, we had before the 197 that we have in English ordinal linked in pi with the 37. And now we have the 72 linked to 37 in the golden ratio. And we had um, false reality. But we also have the dreamer, hummingbird, low pitch, and death spiral. And the hummingbird, we saw this card before. As I explained, it is the Saturn woofer that is sending low pitch frequencies. And 37 is linked uh, in the cards of illumination to the Jack Diamonds. Well, to me, this Jack Diamond, or Jack in general, represents High Jack and is also linked to something um, in electricity. And uh, so the definition is a female fitting in an electric circuit used with a plug to make a connection with another circuit. So this kind of show us like a deviation or something plugging into us or making a connection to our circuit like uh, like a hijack. And 37 is also linked to rubidium. And rubidium, as you can see, is showing an electric eye 
Uh, this means that we are observed. God's helmet is 108 in English ordinal matching the following expressions. Green Goblin, that is Osiris and the Wizard of Oz. The Guardian. Lord Shiva, that refers to destruction. The Spiral. I have decoded the Spiral in my last video about Vishnu and uh, the Golden Ratio with the Fibonacci Spiral. Magnetic field, uh, this is created by the cyclotron, as shown in my first video. New twin, this is again the green goblin, Osiris. And fallen angels. We also have 108 with God is a machine. And if you look at the numbers in Chaldean, we have God is a machine being a 43, as well as God's helmet. So... Those two are a perfect match, confirming that God is indeed a machine and uh, whatever is operating this is using a helmet to control people. 43 is linked to the spider medicine card and this spider represents the Demiurge and we are caught in the spider web of the Demiurge. This is the net. And it also matches element technetium, that means artificial, because we are in an artificial matrix. And the nature of the trap is, of course, artificial. And in Chaldean, with 43, we have the following expressions. Prison Earth. Gatekeepers. So this uh, prison has controllers and gatekeepers. They don't want us to escape because they are feeding on us. Then the watchers, this is the same. We have the, in English original, the guardian. Here we have the watchers, gatekeepers. Human bodies. So when we're inside this matrix, we have, um, we incarnate into human bodies. The snake pit, love spells, so to attract us into this matrix, they use a love spell when we die. So we go through the light tunnel and feel, and feel attracted there and feel good. But in the end, we get recycled into this matrix. Evil entities. Those are the entities running this matrix and feeding on our energies. I am that I am, yod hey vav hey. Again, this is the Tetragrammaton. This is Jehovah, the God of the Old Testament. The illusion. Well, this is the nature of this reality. Psycho killer. So the God of this matrix is really a killer. We incarnate here and we all die over and over again. Then we have wave emitter. So this is the satellite I always speak about that emits real range waves. Then we have gold harvest. I've shown this harvest in my last video about Vishnu. Lucifer trap. This is Lucifer's light trap. Locked in a cage, they really often use this uh, image of the cage in many movies and in many videos. The rising sun, so this is the phoenix. False memory, maybe they implant memories before we are born so that we run on a scenario. Butterflies, those are a symbol of mind control. The Dark Knight, and they have the movie about the Dark Knight Rising. This is again this Osiris ritual of rising the phoenix, because uh, the phoenix is uh, Osiris. Occult ritual, this um, reality works on rituals. This is what why the elite is doing so many sacrifices and rituals. Reflection. 
we seem to be a reflection in the mirror, projection, this refers to the holographic projection and uh, the holographic matrix. Technology, so yes, God's helmet is technology. Time travel key, so here inside this matrix we are all subject to time. Death machine, yeah, this is uh, what this machine is doing, killing people. And kiss of death, of course, we are attracted by this love spell, but in reality it, it is a kiss of death. Element 108 is element Hassium, and in German Hassium comes from Hass, and uh, this means hate. So apparently this entity running this reality is very hateful towards us. And the symbol of Hassium is the lynx. And I have spoken about uh, the order of the lynx in my first video. I will sum it up in next slide. 43 appears at the 27th digit of the golden ratio matching element cobalt, that means goblin. This is a confirmation of what we had with 108 in English ordinal with green goblin. This goblin represents Oz and Osiris. In Pi, 43 can be found at the 23rd digit. And with 23 we have the word spider, matching what we had with God's helmet, 43. So with this helmet, they are forming the spider web with the spider protecting it. And uh, if we get caught in the web, we get bitten by the spider that is poisonous. And we get inside a um, state of trance. We become numb. Apart from spider, we have the word dreamer, that means that this is related to the god of dreams. We have movie and video. Then we have murder, and remember we had psycho killer, with 43. We have memory, destiny, because everything is scripted, and anchor, because we are anchored inside this matrix. God's helmet is 108 in English ordinal matching element Hassium that has the symbol of a lynx. This is linked to the order of the lynx, and the order of the lynx is 222 in English ordinal matching the following expressions. Victim of sleeping death. And we can see this spell that has been cast on us in the Snow White movie. Morpheus, God of Dreams, Morpheus is famous for casting sleeping spells. Consciousness of God, this is the consciousness that is sent via God's helmet to control us. Antichrist system, this shows the negativity of this system. Parasitic energy form, this is a confirmation that uh, we are speaking about a parasite. The radiation on people. This uh, reality is based on frequencies and radiations. This reality is evil, and uh, we've been seeing this throughout all this video and in my other videos. 222 is the atomic mass of element Radom. Ra is the sun god, and uh, Ra can also be interpreted by radiation, radon, radiations. So the picture I had for God's helmet was taken from the movie X-Men, and that is Professor X. And here I am going to show Cerebro, that is a mega computer for which, with uh, his telepathic powers, he's able to spot any of the X-Men. 
So Cerebro is 66 in English ordinal, matching Large Hadron Collider in Calgian. And in English ordinal, we have Drugged, Opiate, Dream Area. So you can see here, we have uh, two things um, related to, to drug. We have Dream, Abraxas, and Abyss. Cerebro is 26 in Chaldean, and in Chaldean we have CERN LHC, which is the Large Hadron Collider, the Yod, and I am that I am. And in Hebrew, Yod Hei Vav Hei is 26. So this is a confirmation that the God of the Old Testament, the Yod, the Yod Hei Vav Hei, I am that I am, is linked to these Large Hadron Collider. 66 appears at the 117th digit of Pi, and we have the Hog Goblin, that is the Green Goblin, White Rabbit, Lord of Time, that is Saturn, Cronus, Earth is Hell, we have Kiss of Death, that we had at the beginning, Orange Moon, Falling Down, that means falling down the rabbit hole, and magic in the air. This is a reference to the prince of the power of the air because it operates through airwaves. EEG helmet is 39 in Chaldean. EEG means electroencephalogram. With 39 in Chaldean, we have the following expressions. God's voice. So this is showing that the God of this matrix is speaking to us via this device. The sound. It is not really a voice, it is a sound that is sent. Artificial mind. So we've seen several times that this matrix is artificial. And what is creating this matrix is artificial. The parasite. So this God's voice is the voice of the parasite. Then we have parasite mind confirming this. Inception. It is showing what it is doing to us. Father time. This is related to Saturn and Kronos. Time loop. This parasite has formed a time loop and we are trapped in it. Stuck in the box. The airwaves. This is the way it is operating through the air waves, long waves, that the nature of those waves. Who is yod -Hei vav -Hei? And we have computers, so I've shown in the second video that uh, yod -Hei vav -Hei, the Demiurge, was the computer. Projector, it is projecting this reality, it is projecting its mind. Chess player, the Demiurge is playing chess with us. The Black Sun, this is what it is. The Undead, because it's not alive, it's uh, artificial and dead. And uh, it is showing also the vampire nature of this entity. And we are in Oz. With 39, we have the Swan Medicine card. And this one is 29 in Chaldean, matching Yaldabaoth, that is the Demiurge. With 39, we have element Ethereum that has the symbol of the satellite with the orange waves. So here again, we see something is emitted and produces these orange waves that I call the Looney Tunes because they have been using the same pattern on the Looney Tunes logo. Now 39 appears at the 43rd digit of Pi, matching the spider medicine card that we've seen before with um, God's Helmet. So this is confirming that God's Helmet is an electroencephalogram helmet. And the spider, of course, is a representation of the Demiurge. Here you can see the similarity between the symbol of Ethereum 
and the Looney Tunes logo. So both of them show those orange waves. Looney means someone deranged and possibly dangerous crazy. So this is what the Demiurge is. Uh, I've shown before that the Demiurge has, uh, is like a psychopath, right? Then Bugs Bunny always says, What's up, Doc? That is 47 in Chaldean, matching the Tetragrammaton. That is the Demiurge. And satellite is 29 in Chaldean, just like Yaldabaoth, so confirming that this is representing the Demiurge. So the Demiurge has this loony personality, psychopath personality, sending those orange waves that form time, um, hence clockwork orange, that is... Uh, a movie that shows that uh, it is about torture and suffering and manipulation, mind control. The Looney Tunes always ends with That's All Fox and That's All Fox is 47 again matching the Tetragrammaton confirming everything we had before. So the reason I did this video is because when I decoded Vishnu, I noticed this headset and I thought it might be the helmet of salvation. So I'm going to decode Vishnu's helmet to see what it is about. Vishnu's helmet is 175 in English original, matching element lutetium that represents Lucifer. In English original, we have the following expressions with 175. Digital broadcasting, so they are using this device to broadcast information. Virtual world, illusion of choice, so we had this illusion of choice several times at the beginning of the presentation. Snake hypnosis, the great deception, and hologram display. The great deception could be because at the beginning, when they offered us this virtual reality, we thought it could be um, an interesting game to play, but in the end we got trapped here. Or it could be that we were lured in, in this uh, matrix under lies. Vishnu's helmet is 55 in Chaldean, matching element cesium. And if you look at the symbol of cesium, it looks like a black sun. Expressions with 55 in Chaldean are the green goblin, the green wizard, so they both refer to Osiris and the wizard of Oz, the hidden one, so this black sun apparently is hidden, everlasting life, this refers to reincarnation, the killing moon, they are sending poisonous frequencies from the moon. Predestination, everything is scripted. The looking glass, the script writer. So the script writer could be the forces that are operating this matrix via this helmet. Infinite loop. Secret Destroyer, Satanic Witchcraft, The Archon's Trap, Slave Race Planet. So this indicates that this game has been created for us to be slaves. The Controller, so this uh, device controls us. Under Hypnosis, and deep hypnosis, this is the reference to the god of sleep. Murder weapon, so this helmet is used as a weapon to murder us and uh, harvest our energies. Bottomless pit, reborn again and again, so this is another reference to reincarnation. Spinning wheel, again reincarnation. What is brainwashing? And uh, we can deduce that this helmet is brainwashing us. 
anyway, it is used to control us. Electromagnetic, this is reference to the synchrotron that uses electric and magnetic fields to create this reality. And beckoning voice. So this virtual reality headset seems to be working as a satellite that is broadcasting certain frequencies that put us in a state of trance. It is not operated by a benevolent entity. The aim seems to be the harvest of our energies to feed a parasite. And this is linked to the God of Sleep and uh, Osiris, the Wizard of Oz. So thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.